Christian said, Modesty has been the most controversial lesson I've ever taught myself with many in the church still choosing to wear immodest clothing and deliberately going against God's word. Well, that's a good point. Christian, I, I totally agree, but think about it. Think about the emotional attachment here. When the bulk of the world in 2021, the bulk of the people on vacations, uh, on cruise ships, beaches, lakes, wherever you want to talk about, down in Florida, down in California, uh, down in the Gulf Shores, what's the common denominator of all these places? They have water. I like water. There's nothing wrong with going fishing. Nothing wrong with going to places. But when we, as Christians, go to we have to be cautious of two things. Number one, that our good not be evil spoken of. And number two, that we do not conform to the world in any circumstance. If we conform to the world, we sin. And so I think what happens is there's such a large amount of people that think this area of our life in this compartment, we are allowed to take it off. They wouldn't do it in everyday life. I mean, do you see very... There might be an exception to the rule, but most people don't wear bikinis in everyday life, right? Because they kind of understand that's not, that's not kosher, that's not in keeping with the norm. But I think it's because in their minds they compartmentalize it, but this is an area when they can do it. It's liberating, it's fun, it's exciting, it's accepted. Everybody else is that way, so I can too. A Christian must be separate. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and number 17. And so remember, if we do the same things the world does, if we dress like the world does, if we talk like the world talks, if we behave like the world behaves, why is it that we are a Christian? How do we ourselves a Christian and live like the world lives? A Christian means we have free, willingly, of our own exited the world and chosen to serve Jesus. Remember what stand fast? Figurative use of the verb, G, 3947, Strong's. What does it mean? It means to freely subject oneself to the will of God. Would we agree the Lord's Supper is to be taken on the first day of the week, Acts chapter 20, verse 7? Why? Because that's the day God spoke concerning the supper. So when people in other religious groups want to take it on another day, what do we say? We say, no, you've got to subject yourself to the will of God. But standing fast is not just in matters of worship. Isn't it also in matters of everyday living? Don't we have to subject the way we dress to the rule of God? Don't we subject to what we listen to in the movies we watch to the will of God? Don't we subject all of our life to the will of God? Standing fast means that in every area of my life, I'm submitting to his will.